Hi everybody, Erin Wester here. Um, as you can see, I just finished my workout. I'm a little bit sweaty. I finished day 33 of Master's Hammer and Chisel. Um, I did the schedule workout as well as 15 minute um, leg hammer. So my legs are screaming, I'm sweaty, my muscles are sore, um, I'm a hot mess. But I really felt like I needed to do this video today. Um, kind of be vulnerable and honest about how things have been going for me the past few days. So yesterday was the three month anniversary of Victoria's death. Um, three months ago yesterday, we um, decided to let Victoria go to heaven, took her off her breathing machine, which she would have been on for the rest of her life, which may have only lasted another two years or so. But that was a decision we personally made. Um, if you don't agree with our decision, um, just still respect the decision that we felt that we had to make um, for her well-being and and how we felt for her but basically this post is to share how yesterday was hard for me I mean it was hard so I ate horribly yesterday um, I had soda I had chips I had just a bunch of crap um, over eight for sure uh, definitely emotional eating hit me yesterday because that's what I struggle with that's when I struggle is my emotional eating when things are rough, what I do is eat. Stress, I eat. Um, a lot felt like I just felt a lot of pressure as a leader and a coach yesterday, and and a mom and a and a wife. I just felt a lot of pressure and a lot of challenges yesterday. So obviously it was a rest day, so I didn't mess up my workout or anything, but I did not eat well. But you know that happens. So today I'm completely. Um, pushing myself to stick to the meal plan for the rest of the three weeks and three days left that I have a master hammer and chisel. Um, the pregnancy pouch is still there. Obviously twins were in there. I gained 48 pounds, almost 50 pounds carrying the twins. So yeah, there's, there's a pregnancy pooch there and that's something I'll probably be working on for a long time. Uh, my abs are there. They're just underneath, um, underneath, uh, the fat that I built up from my emotional eating and drinking soda and having chips and having fries and having fast food. I haven't caved and had fast food at all. That That's good for me, but it's it's the junk. So I basically can't have junk in the house at all because I'll eat it. I'll eat it all. But anyways, um, what I want to say was recommitting to... My fitness, recommitting to my health, recommitting to everybody, everything. Um, going out tomorrow for my birthday because I'll be 36 next week. And um, I'll totally be going out with my husband and, and our couple friends for some wine tasting and then a nice dinner. So obviously I'm going to treat myself and let myself do that. But besides that, um, I, I've got work to do. So... I'm at like 209 pounds right now. I should be between like 135 and 169, which obviously will never happen. Um, if I get in the 160s, I'll be happy. So I really, I just want to be healthy for myself and for my kids and for my family and to show people that, yeah, I'm a coach. I've been a coach for five and a half years, but I struggle just like everybody else. Um, and you can always recommit to your own health and fitness and I'm going to do that as of today. Um, I've stuck to my eating perfectly. I'm going to have my Shakeology. had my Shakeology yesterday for dinner because I felt so guilty about everything I ate. But as I said, it's just one day. Back to it. Um, me family counseling tonight to go through a lot of these things that have been hurting us as a family. And that's what we'll be doing. So we're just working on ourselves as a family. Working on myself personally. Continuing my personal development. I've gotten all my workouts in for 33 days straight, and that's a lot for me. So just wanted to share and be vulnerable and be honest with everybody and say, I struggle too. So I say, yesterday was a horrible day. I'm not going to wait till Monday to restart. Restarting today on my eating um, and be accountable to my eating and be accountable to you guys. So I hope everybody has a great Friday, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.